All right, we are back for part two of Star Wars Legion Skirmish against my daughter here. All right, we are ready for round three. We've got our cards, our command cards ready. You always pick one of these at the beginning of each round and it allows you to decide how many units you can give orders to. And those are units that you get to pick and choose. Um, and uh, there's, uh, well, let's go ahead and show our cards, Bryn. Let's see who's got priority here. Aha! So if you see here, um, what you're doing is uh, with this card that I've chosen, it's uh, three units and the one that Bryn has chosen, she only gives to give orders to one unit. And so what that means is uh, your stack of these uh, things here, these uh, markers here, um, those go to who you give orders to. So I get to choose uh, three units, pick out their, uh, their order tokens here and give it to them. And Brill only gets to do that with one, and then she just has to draw a random one from her pa um, her stack right here each round, so she doesn't necessarily know who she's going to get. So uh, how this works, though, for priority, it's uh, so first is these three dots up here called pips. Um, whoever has the least amount gets to go first. So um, I'm going to get to go first this round because you can see Brinley's there. Standing orders has uh, four. I've got three. So I'm going to decide who I'm going to give my orders to. And uh, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. I have given my three orders to one, this group of rebel soldiers here, and then the other one to Luke Skywalker right here, and then the third one to this group of rebel troopers right here. Bryn has chosen to give her one order to the Dark Lord of the Sith himself, Darth Vader. All right, we'll begin uh, with uh, with uh, me going first here. Um, I had priority, so what I am going to do is uh, go with these troopers right here. Um, these uh, biker scouts are coming up upon them quick. They are wide in, wide here, wide uh, with no cover, just uh, ready to be uh, destroyed. So I am going to move them and. Darth Vader is coming for him too as well, so I'll be right back to show you what I've done and where I've moved them. Okay, here's what I've done. I have moved my Rebel Troopers here, this unit. It's only got three guys left. I've moved them over here, um, kind of behind Luke Skywalker and getting close to these other troopers over here. So they are done, flip their token over, and we go over to Bryn. What would you like to do? And you can go with Darth Vader, who you know you've got a token with, or you could draw from your stack over there and uh, see if you get, you know, either a Stormtrooper unit or um, these Biker Scouts. Is that what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's see what you get. What you got? All right, your Bikers. Okay. She got the Bikers over here. So, all right, so you got to go with them once you draw from your stack and you pull one, that's the one you gotta go with. So, yep, so we're gonna kinda take those, they can thread the needle of that tree and just, yeah, just place them like right, right there. They can go over that. They can go over uh, any terrain that's, uh, I think one, one or lower, so without a problem. So they're right there. So that's our compulsory move. Here's their, let's not forget their two um, hit points right there to go with them. So then they could move, Token. Could they move like that? Um, they could move again. Yeah, they could move right up there. Um, or right. You don't have to go exactly that. If you wanted to go, you know, a little bit shorter than that, you could. If you want to. Yeah. I'm sure. Okay. So just move them up front. Is that kind of what you're doing? Yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So that's your second move. Yeah. Or that's your first move, I should say. Yeah. So Did your compulsory move? Now you're doing. All right, you don't need to measure. You are within distance, so. All right, so that's gonna be uh, red, white, and black. And uh, those guys are not in cover. Yep, red, white, and black. We'll be right back with the dice roll. Okay, all right, we've got the dice pool ready. She's got, uh, let's see what you got here. She's rolling with uh, two red, two black, and two white. So basically a red, white, and black for each, uh, each bike, so. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So those, uh, on their card, sometimes they have, um, the ability to, and I think they do, there's their card. So they do uh, a surge. So these right here are surges and they become hits. Um, 
problems. So we just turn those over to a hit. And folks, you are looking at one, two, three, four, five, six hits. So that is really, really good. And uh, my poor troopers over here, no coverage at all. But uh, we do get a chance to see if we can save that. Um, Rebel Troopers, they try and uh, save that with these white dice here. Um, not the best for this, so we're gonna see what happens. This could be the end of this whole group of Rebel Troopers. Okay, and I do surge to, uh, to a shield, so I will block two of those, which means four of them will go through. I've only got three. Go Those guys are dead. We'll be back for my move. All right, I'm gonna choose to activate Luke Skywalker. And uh, with Luke, I am going to get him to uh, hustle up here. Here's what he's gonna do. Um, he's gonna move towards these troopers. Here's his first move right there. See this, uh, see what I'm doing here, Bryn? And then his uh, second move, he's going to move into melee here, Bryn, with these stormtroopers. So when he does that, he touches the base. And then everybody goes around him like this, touching base, making base contact with him. And then uh, we got a, oops, sorry, I didn't show you that there, but uh, we, uh, we got a battle. So uh, Luke has the ability then, once he does a move, to get a free melee attack when he moves into melee here. So he... Uh, it means he's fighting with his lightsaber. He's hand-to-hand -hand combat here. So he's yeah, fighting with the lightsaber. And uh, Luke, for this, uh, he has Anakin's lightsaber, and he is going to be rolling um, six of these black dice. So let's see what Luke can do here. See what kind of damage he can do to this group of stormtroopers. Okay, man, that is a really bad roll. Um, one of those does convert to a crit, but all of the others um, were misses. So I guess Luke is still needs some uh, Jedi training. He is struggling. Um, okay, so one hit there, Bryn. Um, you could try to block it, but he has something that's called uh, Pierce, and uh, he cancels up to two hits. So so you lose a stormtrooper. You don't get to block anything. You lose one stormtrooper from uh, that unit. That's what Luke did, so. All right, so we'll clean the, clean the dice up here, put those here. We'll move Luke with his uh, hit point there and his token, and uh, he is done. And we are over to the Empire. All right, all right. All right Brenna's drawn from her stack. What are you, uh, what are you doing here? Since these are so close. Okay. okay, so they are in melee, so you need to look at, uh, melee means you're base to base, so you wanna look at, that right there is the weapon they use for each one. So you have three black dice they're rolling. So three black dice. So, all right, so you're gonna attack Luke with three three black dice. Let's see what you get. And yep, that's okay. okay. Two hits, all right. And Luke, I think it's to block with the red. So he's gonna try to block those with the red dice here. Let's see what he can do. All right, so he's gonna block one of them, no. No, he is not. He's gonna take two hits. So yes, he is. Uh, he is definitely a uh, Jedi in training. But Luke now has uh, three hits against him, unfortunately. But uh, that's just uh, sometimes what happens. He's at six health, so he's still uh, still hanging in there. So all right, so over to me. Be right back. Okay, I have chosen to activate this unit of Rebel Troopers. I've moved them into uh, sight here of these uh, Stormtroopers engaged with Luke. And so um, I'm kind of behind him here, so there's no cover. And here is what I'm going to be attacking with. Uh, six white dice and five black dice. And I do get an extra black dice because I've got a concussion grenade. So I'm going to have six black dice. So I've got a Z6 trooper, he's got a big gun, he's the six white dice, and then um, the five for my rebel troopers, plus the one for the concussion grenade. So I am really hoping to uh, do some damage here. This is a lot of dice. So let's see, uh, let's see what we can do. Okay. Um, huh? Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Three, that's it. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so I got two hits here. Um, that one, that doesn't do anything. So, um, yeah, that does not do anything. Does that convert? Nope, it does not convert. So unfortunately, they are not uh, shooting well. So I got two hits, so get yeah, you get to, to, to block with the red. So, so two red. red, yep. Two red. Two red, Square. so two red for two hits. Square. Yep. Square. Six-sided dice. So let's see if Ring can, what she can block here, okay? Huh? All right, so you lose, uh, you do lose one trooper over there. Which one? Whatever one you want. Which one is best? I don't, either one. I would go with the, maybe this guy here. This yep, the other one's the big gun, so. Okay, so we'll clean up the dice and uh, we'll uh, come over here and uh, flip flip their order token there. And uh, well, good job, guys. You took out one stormtrooper. All right, over to the Empire. Okay. All right, what are you gonna do? Gonna Got a unit of troopers? Not gonna move them. I'm gonna try to fire. Okay. You want to take a aim token because that does okay. give you an extra. Which one is it? This yes. Yep. Take an aim token, Ooh. and you can use that and. Uh, you get to add an extra dice to the reroll. So instead of rerolling two, you get to reroll three. Marriage. And you are within range. Yep, you're firing at uh, firing at them, and it does look like uh, that you've got a visual from your commander here in blue over to uh, the rebel troopers. There, you can see more than half, so they don't have any cover. All right. So, so, all right, so with the stormtroopers, you have um, let's see here. You have one, two, you have five with the white, five white, no, nope, triangle. Five white, and then you also have two red. Triangle? Yep, five white and two red, and then your aim token, we'll, uh, just uh, put that right there, and you get to reroll up to three. Oh boy. There's four hits, so yep, you can reroll those three. Spend the aim token. One hit, okay. Okay, so you got five hits Three on hits. them. What? Three. Five hits all together, yeah. Three crits, five hits. Um, okay, so my guys are blocking with the uh, the white. Not a real good blocking dice, but let's see, uh, let's see if we can block any of those. Okay, we're blocking two of them. So I'm gonna lose three guys over here. So, oh, nice try, guys. Okay. So losing three. All right. So clean up the dice, and I'll be over to uh, the rebels here. Okay. The game's progressing. Um, I'm going to uh, pick from my stack over here, and this one is for Chewy. So, uh, Chewy, let me think about what I want Chewy to do. Could uh, fire at the bikes there. Could also move. Um, um, all right, I'm gonna think about this and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Here's what I've done with Chewy. Just did a double move and move Chewy over here, um, kind of flanking this uh, this left side. So um, Chewy is all done. So Empire, I think it's your last last one, and you have Darth Vader, who is only a one move. I think I'm just gonna move him twice because I don't think he's in a range with anybody. So okay, if he is, you can move twice, and then you get he does get a free attack, kind of like what Luke got, except for. He has to be a th in a, with a saber throw um, if he's in, I think, range one or two of anybody. So we'll see if he's in range. Okay, so here, let's see it. Yeah. Yep, Luke's in range. Um, uh, Chewy, I think, is going to be just outside of that range. So you do uh, you do have Luke. Yeah, I want to do saber throw at Luke. Okay, saber throw at Luke. So with you, um, you take, where is Darth Vader? Right here. Um, I'll flip that over for a sec, would you? It has the, there, uh, no, the other side. Um, you do half of the red, so you do three red. Three red. Three red against Luke. He is behind heavy cover, sure. just so you know. So, um, so we'll see what happens here. Okay. And I don't think Darth Vader does anything with no. this, the surge. So, so you got two hits, but he's behind cover too. Um, so, uh, 
you know, both of those are gonna weigh. Now, I think what we have been forgetting to do is uh, suppression. Right. So, um, so we'll have to uh, get that cleaned up because Luke will have a have a suppression from that. Um, we're trying to trying to tack, and uh, your stormtroopers there too would have a suppression as well, and my rebel troopers over here uh, would have a suppression against them too as well. So. Um, in the suppression at the end of the round, you take off one of those. So um, right now it looks like everybody that has a suppression is going to lose it here. But that is the end of round three, I think, I believe. You want to flip Vader's yep. thing there? So, okay. All right. Well, we will be back here with round four.